Companies have applied for the Vigo County Casino license. We first brought you this update as breaking news last night. Today, News 10 has been working to learn more about the companies and their proposals. News 10's John Swanner explains why the companies think Terre Haute is a good fit. News 10 heard from some of the gaming companies wanting to invest in Terre Haute. Now we've seen three of the four proposals with each one having one common thread. More on that in just a bit. But first we heard last night from Churchill Downs and their proposal, the Queen of Terre Haute Casino and Resort. The company believes this resort will draw visitors from all over the Midwest. CDI owns casinos in night states in cities similar in size to Terre Haute. You know, we've, uh, we've wanted to be in Indiana for several years. We find it to be a very well-run state. We have a lot of respect for the Indiana Gaming Commission. We had lots of experience in the Western gaming markets. Premier Gaming also operates out of smaller cities like Terre Haute. Their $100 million investment would offer a casino with 800 slot machines, 20 table games, and a sports book. And they'd also offer restaurants, a spa, and a rooftop bar. When this came available, I just thought it was a, you know, a perfect fit for the company that, that I have and that I run and that I own. And so, you know, we, we're really community minded and, and, and enjoy being a part of the community. Once we were there, you know, multiple times, it just it was a it was a great fit for us. You may recall the name Full House Resorts. This company has been trying to locate a resort in Terre Haute since 2018. This company proposes a $250 million investment locating off land it has under contract off of I-70 near State Road 46. We said this is a great opportunity for us to, to really deliver something to Terre Haute and the people of Vigo County that, unlike anything they've seen before, to create something special that's, that's going to that's gonna get the people here and, and let them experience that, you know, what Terre Haute has to offer. We also reached out to Hard Rock, the fourth company to submit a proposal. We left voicemails with two corporate executives and have yet to hear back from them. And we'll pass along details of Hard Rock's proposal once we hear from the company. Keep in mind, this is the same company that had the previous deal in place with Lucy Luck Gaming when the Indiana Gaming Commission voted to not renew that company's gaming license. Back to you. Now the common themes we heard were location and support from the community. We want to remind you Lucy Luck appealed that Gaming Commission denial. We've reached out to the Gaming Commission about where that appeal process stands. We're still waiting on a response.